Let's see the tactics here. Giving a quick review on the 511 TDU belt. Um, this is listed as a double duty TDU and it is reversible. Safe for travel, safe for air because it's got the plastic buckles, two layers of heavy nylon webbing, five rows of stitching, micro adjustable buckle for the perfect fit. All right. Um, well, let me show you something here. Sorry about that. I was using this lovely leather belt to hold up my gun for a long time. As you can see, uh, not too sturdy. Uh, very flexible. Even though it's a pretty thick leather belt, it uh, obviously collapses under pressure. So I was looking for a new belt, and uh, we've got a po great police uh, supply store here in the area, um, Atwell's Police and Fire, and it's where my gun range is and everything else. And they have some heavy-duty gun gun belts, but I thought I would try this one. Um, it's nice, it's got a plastic buckle, it's thick and it's reversible. You can go from the uh, tan, it's like olive tan, to the uh, to the black. Now this is a lot thicker than uh, my other uh, my other uh, I want to show you this fits and supports the gun very very nicely. Now this is not even their uh, heavy duty one for the gun belt. The gun they have ones similar that have the uh, like a plastic coating inside that makes it very very stiff. But you can see this even without the pants on. This supports the way I'm using this is a uh, Galco King, King Tuck and uh, it supports the weight of the gun very very well. Um, the pros on it, it does a good job for the price. Uh, it basically is, well on their website they're about 20 bucks at the store, they're about you know around 20, 23, something like that. So they're nice like that. Uh, they do have the plastic buckle. This is a downfall for somebody like me um, because how this webs in so it weaves in like this, and then it weaves in like this to uh, cinch down. And that creates your buckle, which is very, very nice, and it works great. Unless you're a bigger guy like me. I was almost going to take it back because I was not happy at first because, all right, you cinch down your belt as your big guy like me. I have a um, big guy, so i got a gut, and I have no butt. So my pants fall down to begin with no matter what I do. And... Uh, when you have a, a regular belt system, you can over tighten, obviously, and then put it in the hole and hook, and you're going to get whatever you get. So think of it like a hamster squeezing in something. That'll work. Well, with this one, you, you tighten it up and you cinch it up, and then you got to try to hold it here, and then try to get this loop back through here without losing the tension. And... Uh, at first, the belt was so stiff the first uh, week. I wanted to give it a week or so to see if I liked it. And uh, it was so stiff, I couldn't barely, you know, it was fine as long as I didn't put my gun on. But as soon as I put my gun on, the weight of the gun just pulled it right down. I couldn't cinch it tight enough because as soon as I would go to do the looping, um, as soon as I go to do this part of it, I would lose tension just a little bit. And fall down. Now, for a thin guy, that's probably not even an issue, but with me, I have no uh, rear end there. So uh, I gotta actually over tighten things to make them work and keep everything up, especially when you throw a two pound gun on. So I was a little disappointed, but um, after about a week, this thing loosened up a little bit in the area where I, where I uh, obviously uh, cinch it up and uh, it's become a little bit more easily to tighten and get back into the loop. Uh, 
but I did want to throw that out there. If you're a big guy, you might want to get something with a the hole in the in the, the you know the regular traditional style of belt buckle. But just wanted to give a quick review. Uh, very nice belt, plastic can go through you know the metal detectors and everything like that. Uh, for a thinner guy, um, you know, with with you know, if you have a guy with a butt here, uh, it, it it'll work just great. Um, it is reversible. I do like that. So you can, you know, if you're wearing khakis, you can, you can switch that way. Or like me, I like to keep it on the black side just because I wear the uh, king tuck and it's got the black uh, metal clips. So uh, just a review on this 511 TDU uh, belt. Yeah, they run about twenty-four dollars, uh, give or take. Nice belt. Uh, works pretty good. Um, it will take, if you're used to the traditional style of buckling, it will take a little bit of time getting used to pulling back and trying to keep the tension on and, and do that if you're, you know, trying to hold up the gun and everything. Like I said, they do have the belts that have, that are stiffer for carrying the gun and stuff. Um, but I didn't want to spend the extra money. I wanted to see how this would work because if not, I could just use it for casual wear. So I just thought I'd give you a little heads up on that, a little quick review. Nice belt. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.